Bruno e o Diego estavam nos treinadores e o Eli, o Jordan Field, o Middle Park Giant, here for Division 3 Commonwealth Coast Conference matchup between the South Arizona Seahawks and the Western New England Bears today. Quick starters before the action. For Western New England, number zero, David Sedona, sophomore midfielder. Number three, Brandon Body, goalkeeper. Number four, Maxwell Bernaletti, freshman from Cal. Number seven, Colton Gray, freshman from Lee. Number 18, Trevor Scott, senior from Lee. Number 23, Adam Mackin, senior from Lee. Number 24, Sean Brown, senior and goalie. Number 29, Nicky Donovan, senior and outfield lineman. Number 32, Stephen Gale, sophomore midfielder. Number 44, Jack Goldberg, senior defensive end. Number 45, Joe Barchin, freshman linebacker for the South Arizona Seahawks. Number three, John Oppenshade, tight end, senior. Number four, Curtis McEwen, senior midfielder. Number three, goal. Number eight, Andrew Watkins, freshman. Number nine, Hugo Hernandez, defensive end. Number 10, Will Hunter, right guard, sophomore from Kentucky. Number 11, Stephen Russell, Los Angeles goaltender, junior. Number 22, Paul Diallo, freshman, sophomore. Number 23, Alex Kelly, tight end, junior. Number 25, Shelton Gaines, running back, sophomore. And rounding it off for the Seahawks, number 26, James Fee, midfielder, freshman. They've been playing the South Arizona and Western New England Bears eight times this offseason so far. The Golden Bears have eight nothing all purpose in this week. Last time out, Western New England beat the Seahawks 41 to 14. The South Arizona's last game was a draw. The host of the Clemson game had 12, Roger Williams, the freshman. Senior Curtis McKeon led the Seahawks with four points, three goals, and one assist. While sophomore Barchin led the team for Clemson with three more goals. Freshman goalie Andrew Watkins made 16 saves in the loss for South Arizona. Now for the South Arizona and Golden Bears coming today's game off a 16-4 win over the Nittany Lions on the road. Senior Adam Mackin and Sean Brown combined for 12 points in the victory for the Golden Bears. Some uh, noteworthy statistics as well as other games. Last game, Chad Hollinger broke 100 goals in his first career. He had 106 goals in that season. Nick Rossero leads the team with 47 points on the season, including 36 assists, which he also set a new single-season record. We are underway from Middle Park, Rhode Island, as Western New England brings the kick. Ball goes out of bounds. Curtis McKeon for the Seahawks will kick it away. McKeon with the opportunity to just take the pass to his partner. Smooth shot fired, and the save is made by the goalkeeper, Brandon Body. Western New England now with the ball in their own half. Save at in the corner, but puts it in front. Now back to line out to Adam Mackin. Back to line out to Adam Mackin. Great save by Adam Mackin. Mackin behind the net. Played deep across the field. Owen Caruso. Caruso has a six-point streak he has. That's going to be a turnover for the Golden Bears. Salve Regina with possession. Clemson, 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 Clemson,
Bible is great. Love to read about it. Uh, Chuck says, you know, a back out pitch is right. Easy's it, but picks up the edges. Let's give music to Chad Hollinger. That's out of Phoenix, Arizona. Chad Chase with the first pitch of the inning. Neil Placero. Jose Rodriguez with the hand of it. Neil Sanuga takes over the second. Jim Geary is the offense. Western New England, where he was born for West Virginia. Justin McKinney makes it. Still two, two good lead up innings right now. Paul Spinazzola, Matt Nelson, Griffin, Marshawn Hawk. That ball is loose. Scooped up by Justin McKinney. McKinney dishing over to Keegan Beaver. Beaver grounds out. Two outs, one on one pitch. Up top, rifled by Colton Craig. Save made by Watkins. And Salve Regina takes over the second. And just now, Alex Flynn bringing it up across the right side. Flynn with the sinker. Short hand dish to Neil Placero. Hollinger with the line, throws it up top to the captain, McGee. McGee with the spin move. Another spin to the right, shot fired, and that's a save by Brandon Body. Justin McKinney with the first pitch of the ball game. Good battle there from Alex Hennessy, but Western New England gets the first out. Jordan Knapp, right to the net, shoots. I want to call a crease violation. That's a little exciting. Jordan Knapp, it'll be Salve Regina Park. 11 minutes and 17 days left in the first quarter. Salve Regina position. Watkins takes it all the way up towards center field. Watkins continues to get over the charges of Jack McKinney. Brad Green over to James Sanuga. James Sanuga drives towards the left field. Green with a good move. Jordan Knapp with the charge again. Shot fired by McGee. Way back in front. It'll be Salve Regina at the plate again. McGee with the left hand pop up. Two balls and one strike. Salve Regina. Looks like James Hughes is able to fire a shot and take a drop in there, but that shot can't be cleared. Justin New England now picks up the edge. Even Hatry with an out there now. Salve Regina. Salve takes it up the middle. Pass to the front. Ball's loose behind the net. Western New England scoops it up and takes it. Ball is on to Jack Neocos. Over to Stephen Gare. Stephen Gare now with the catcher down the right side. Checks his chart. Stephen Gare. Attacks. Shoots and misses. Strike out. Sets up for the ball. Juan Russo. Right side pass to Sanuga. Caruso takes it up to left field. Good pitch. Caruso. Takes it back up. Strong offer. It'll be a quick strike. Ball is back to Mullins. Mullins now to Caruso. Shot fired by Sean Lahr. And another great save made. Larceny Watkins. Watkins with the pitch out to Stephen Russell. Stephen Russell with the pop up. Russell decides to sprint down the right side now. Russell takes it back. Coming back to 
do as he pleases. Long past by all saints he made known. Great heart that hath the sharp joints, sharp joints off of the flexion from the resting wing of the bender. Save the goalie body, has the ball behind the resting wing of the net. with a spin. Mullins doesn't take the middle. Gets vicious with the point three. Adam Napkin with a shot. That misses by a less than a little bit to the left of the net. Ryan Lawton dishing out to Garrett Mullins. Mullins back to Lawton. Lawton back to Mullins. Two goals each. Trying to set up the offense here. tries to make a move for Stewart. Ball is grabbed by Mullins. Ball is knocked out of play. That's number 24, Sean Lawton with a shot and a goal. First of the game coming here with 7.24 left in the first quarter. Western New England leads Saturday at noon. One goal to nothing. I'm going to give the assist to number 22, Taylor DuBose. Western New England strikes first. picture-perfect feed from the point three to Mike Donahue with the Pittsburgh goal. Scott, Trevor Scott fires the pass out of play. I mean, looks like by all scores scored by number seven, Colton Craig. And in the blink of an eye, Western New England has opened up a three-goal advantage here. They lead by two goals to seven. of the game. That'll do it for me in Middletown. Western New England leading Salve Regina. Three goals to nothing. We'll be right back.
It's scooped up by his teammate, and the ball is in the left corner now for West Virginia. The ball that got broken up, Sean Long. The ball now to number 32, Stephen Gale. Gale loses possession on the side of the Illinois Tigers. Dwayne Parks now on the attack for the Seahawks. Chris Parks picks up that first down, pass to West Virginia defenders. They push it out to Chad Hodgson. Third and eight or so. Long cross field pass to Curtis McKinney. Sets himself up on the first and ten. Again, West Virginia behind the two. Parks gets it back to Williams. Nice pass catch. Williams three. Is it no? No three. Just gets back up to the three. The Seahawks still have it. That's going to be a goal. Chad Holinshake puts it through the left side of the net for Salvo Regina's first goal of the game. That's a beautiful spin off the defender. A great snipe by senior Chad Holinshake. Salvo Regina now trails West Virginia three goals to one with four minutes and 45 seconds to go in the first quarter. Off run by McKeon. McKeon right off the face off fires. Shot saved by Body. The ball's loose right in front of the Western New England net. Both players battling for the ball here. Still no clear winner as the whistle will be blown. It's going to be Salvo Regina possession. Here's Lacero behind the net. Lacero shot fired and saved. Spin move to Wings on the right side. Matt finds Stephen Gale in the middle. Flag is blown. Gale hits a corner glove. McKinney loses the ball now. Now the Seahawks have it. Gale turns, goes back to the shelf across the right sideline, keeps it in bounds. for the Salvo, and we have some substitutions on the ice. Steven Russell, Billy Sampson for the Seahawks, and for Curtis Harris, number nine on the career so far for him. He's still playing in that driver's seat for Chad Russell. Looks like it's Western. Shot up in front. 
said it was a generous gift. Generous with the cash. I remember 13, Mike Donahue, Donahue fresh off the bench, fouls in a go here. And like I said a second ago, I was assisted by Danny Collins here. So two substitutes right off the bat, making our presence known for the first quarter. With two minutes and 40 seconds to go left in the first quarter, West New England leads Sabre Regina 4 goals to one. Steve in the jersey, Steve in the middle of the court, finds Steve in left, right, beautiful pass, look at James Steve getting through the level, West New England with the ball, they open it up, that was Dennis Scott and Jason Fish. Give us a break here with two seconds left in the first quarter. Sabre Regina trailing West New England. Four goals to one.
46 remaining in the second quarter. Western New England up on Sabu and Juno, five minutes away. Face-offs in Malone. It's won by McKee. scrum here towards the left side of the lane. Up and down for the ball. Ten minutes and 58 just minutes of it remaining. Back is Fair. Right side, right side for the Bulls. Five and eight. Again. McKee with the lead back is Fitz Smith.
and he picks up a greasy pack of dust and he begins to pick the sand and say, I don't want that. And the daddy stops him and he says, you know, you can't do that. You know, I don't want that sin. The pack is greasy. The pack is dusty. scores for West Virginia. Paul Baxter was assisted by number eight, Grant Mullen, to extend West Virginia's lead six to one over Saturday Junior with uh, just about 11 minutes to go in the second quarter. Xavier Pitts back in as he was a factor for the Pacers. Two great Saturday and Gina. Saturday and Gina scores a quick possession off the face off. Chad Hollingsworth with his second goal of the game. That's the second goal for the Seahawks as a team as they get that goal right back from West Virginia. Great transition offense from the face off and he in over to Chad Hollingsworth who finished the penalty. Saturday and Gina, it is now 6-2. Face off won by Davidson Miller for West Virginia. Defensive pace of Adam McAdoo. Saturday and Gina now up to a completely warm Patrick Kelly to score the goal this time. It is now 7 to 2, West Virginia. And here's Dan Parks who picked up the one face off. Parks on the right side for Pitt. Parks moves to right center for Gina. Right center for Gina. Right center for Xavier. Gets it back to Kelly. Kelly in the corner. Gets it to Xavier. Gets it to Xavier. Gets it to Xavier. Right center for Chad Jones. And that is scored by number 25, Sharp Jones. Off is won by West Virginia and Davidson Miller. He is moved back to the corner. West Virginia moves to right center for Parks. Stephen Gray with it. Gray passes it to Ryan Hunt. Sorry, Cruz. 
Jesus é Deus. Eu já pensei em fazer o mesmo negócio que você fez. Eu não sei o que é que é, mas eu vou fazer. Yeah. 
shall see that this is maybe the beginning of the book. Maybe that's the end of the book. Oh, so on Lot, and fire sits on top of the sea and scorched.
shot five by number 23 on the next court, Sean Lawton here. And that'll give the defending state champion Kenny the assist right there. Jessica Newman now leading Saturday at home 11 to 3. Three minutes, 33 seconds to go in the second quarter. Western New England blazing up the paint. Davis again gives it up. Here's the pass to Jessica Newman. Lawton feeds right in. Long left to pass to the right side. It goes right by her. Racing it now, right to left, pass to right side. And Russell holds it there. And it looks out there is Paul Diani. Paul Diani with a big three. Actually, Lucero with a beautiful pass to number six, Alex Kidd, who scores the three. Cross court, back court, shoots it. With that goal by Kidd, Saturday is Newman now trails 11 to 3. Barry with it, his pass is there. Long left, gives it back to Newman. Russell again, left to right, pass to Newman. Barry back to Neil Barry, who was selected by Frank Russo. Now Frank Russo up the middle on a fast break with a one two. Russo gives it to Sharp Jones, and Sharp Jones runs into the left, cuts right in the middle, shot fired and scored by Sharp Jones. Even with the contact. Saturday is Newman's fifth goal in the afternoon. They now trail 11 to 5. Check it down under a minute to go. Russell now with another. Another face off by Dan Secura. And he looks really into that goal. Russell Jones really got bopped pretty hard. He's still down in the game.
things that we're assessing to do in this game today. We will take a break. 35 seconds left in this game. Savo Regina trails West Des Moines. Russell looking for an outlet, and Alex Russell cuts towards the middle. Pass created to Rio, and he fires a little straight to the left corner. At the end of the first half from Broadway Field in Little Tynan Island, as Western New England leading Salve Regina 11-5. to We'll take a break and be back shortly after halftime with some statistics and the second half of play.
Jesus taught us way in the last session as he was teaching us and as they did in the last session. He said, be content with what you have. What are we going to do with what we have? But when somehow we come into temptation, and we can take this attack and say that that's good. Paul is asking us to be content. We can't do that without Christ. And he says, if you do, then you have to share. Saturday evening yet? Great need to have a pastor who decides to come down and be great saved by Rocky Stanza on Saturday evening. I have some intimacy aspects about my wife's life. Okay? We did that talk with James Cree, James Cree and I. Last week that was a group that was down here last Saturday. Sharp Brain down in St. Louis is going to be doing that. And then Rock and his team are going to be here. And then Larry Ellis is going to be here. Big Sunday night school Saturday. Saturday will be in Chandler, 11 to 5 here. And then we'll come down as the Cree shop on Saturday at 5 o'clock. Like I say, about 12 gentlemen left in the third quarter of this Division Three student student lacrosse between Saturday evening and Sunday. Substitution quickly for Saturday evening. Rodrigo Hernandez comes out. Jose Amelia comes back in. Now we'll come back in as well. Here's the return of Rocky Lucero. Rocky, Lucero, Cree got fired by Hollywood. Got a heck of a save made by Mr. Bobby. Fisher quickly takes it across midfield. Doesn't carry it back. Quickly puts it away. Doesn't walk. Van Dalton gets it, but they have a kind of thing now with it. Doesn't want to take it. to shoot. Instead, passes it way over the head of Van Dalton. Like I said, Joey Bunch is going to come in here and help Rock with the big one. Cree got fired and scores as he got bumped. Cree with the unassisted goal with 11.22 left in New England. Takes the lead 12-5. down the right side there. Chad Holliday did it. Over to Campbell Jones. Yeah. 
mean, he can't handle it, but he picks it back up. On the left side of the net now, tries to pass for Yacero. Yacero can't handle it. Gets scooped up by Salvi's defenseman. Alex Sandusky has it. Get it over to Yacero. still continues his own possession. Tyler. Get back as back as can't handle the pass. Going where the car is. Just give it in the play with a bump. Long ball and covered. Number 31 of Salve Group. Behind the net to Lacero. Lacero on the right side. Feeds to Halajade. Shot fired and save made by Brandon Body. Another sharp defenseman is now Sharp Jones with the shot and she scores from deep left. Way out there in no man's land. Sharp Jones with his second goal of the afternoon. With 9.22 remaining in the third quarter, Salve Regina now trails 12 goals to six. One by Cody McKinnon. McKinnon picks the ball right up off the ground. Ball again over to the right. Picks it up by Halachek. Maybe a throw to Steve Kessel. Ben Russell will hold on to it. Russell with the back spin. Goes to the left. Goes back to the right. And Alex King who scored a nice one. King back behind the net to Lucero. Picks up by Sharp Jones. the call from his coach. Takes the kill Brazil to get in position. Brazil now with the ball. Brazil cut to the right side. Hit the back stick and goes to the right. Still with the back stick. Gains a little bit of space. Just laps. Real defense on him. Halache gets the two defenders and he gets the shot stripped away from him. WNE with possession. Trevor Scott. Gets it to Jack Nuoso. The ball moved up on the right side now. Now back to the point of two. Steven Gare will get to it. Looks like Jimmy still has the ball. So cuts to the left. Gets the kill. Gets pushed off. Caruso with it. Draws up a shot. Fired by Garrett Mullen. Save made by Watkins. Another shot. Saved by Watkins yet again. Jack Nuo 
the defenseman Stephen Russell with the lefty toss goes to the right side of the net. Tampa Bay Virginia now trails 13 to 7. Two minutes and 40 seconds left to go in the third. Two casual back of the net. That was all Steve was able to grab it. Now we have a substitution. Western New England now leads 13 to 7 with 322 to go in the third quarter. Ted Pettis will start the game for the Virginia faceoff. Won by DeLuca. That's how Virginia steals it. Curtis McQueen now working on the left side. McQueen running in. He's a little underhand. Casual pass to Lucero. Lucero has a piece of the net. Goes around the point now. Lucero feeds a cutting Chad Jones, but Chad Jones can't get it. Now George Knapp is the man who brings it in. Beautiful feed. Sean Lawton to Colton Craig. Colton Craig gets it back to Knapp. Inside the Virginia ball. Nice power pass to Knapp. Knapp to Craig. Pass to Knapp. Almost caught it. Chad Hollingsworth. Hawkins with it. Shoots. And a save by Brandon Bowden. Working on the ball. Bowden goes back. Pass out of bounds. Right to Knapp. He'll get it. Knapp comes towards the inside. Loses it. End of the third, 14 to 7. Western New England leads over South Bay, Virginia. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.
matchup between Western New England and Southern Virginia. Golden Bears have a 14-7 lead here as they win the faceoff. And we head off to bat and it looks like Jesse DeLuca with the Pirates. Spinning his body in the left after scoring that goal. Out the way, Salvo is in on the start for Colton. They are now trailing 15 to 7. Great result. One by Curtis McKinney and Art Salvo in the corner. Great beat to Hollinger, and then Hollinger answers for the Seahawks. Great job by McKeon to win that faceoff. Takes it all the way down to the middle of his own, and a perfect pass to Hollinger. Chad does the rest. Goal scored by the senior here for South Virginia. Eight to nothing. Fifteen to eight with 14 and a half to go here in the New Jersey Nets Cup Series. Like I said earlier in the game, the key to Face-off face -off wins here, both teams have scored on both ends. McKeon and DeLuca trying to score, and it's going to be won by Western New England. Shot fired by Trevor Scott, and his shot goes back to Arthur. Here's Napton behind the net. Napton, the same exact shot as last time, scores again. He's done the same thing twice now, runs along the left side of the net. Looks like he's going to run backwards to pass, but he just twists his body around completely and scores the exact same goal. Napton's two goals here open up the fourth. It's still up to the Western New England Blues to eight with 14 and a half to go. Taken by David Nowitzki back to the Blues. Jack Grosso fielded it with the draw for McKinney. McKinney now with his fifth club of the year. McKinney and Golden Bears here. Pass behind the net to Napton. Back to McKinney. Seven. Colton Craig with a shot misses. Save made by Watkins. Salvo Regina. Great job by the goalie, Andrew Watkins, to knock that ball loose in the corner. That was a risky play, but it left him with great defensive effort. And Salvo Regina will clear the ball. Long pass from Stephen Russell. Over to Cam Brazil. Cam Brazil with the puck. Brazil to Chad Hollinger, and Hollinger behind the net to Nick Lucero. Screen set by Shark Jones. Lucero brings it around the net, passes back to Shark Jones. Shark Jones to Hollinger, has cleared over to Jones. Back to Eric Hoffman. Over to Alex Quinn. Quinn with the bounce, but another shot goes back to Nick Lucero. Quinn pass over to Shark Jones, back to Hollinger, over to Lucero. Lucero with the line on the right side of the net, passes back to Hollinger. Jones, great defense play by Joe Barcia of Western New England. And the ball is cleared over to Backus and it's stopped by Hollinger. Paul Diano with the puck loses the ball. Great recovery by Western New England. Has a 
a beautiful pass. That goal was scored by number 24, Sean Lawton. And Western New England now really opening up the offense. They are now 17 to 8 in the opening game. Casero on the left side. Casero clears it. Goes the other way. Leaves B. Gates still with it. Now passes it back around the net. Chad Holland is not able to come up with a pass and it'll be a free kick for us. Jack Riosos with it now. He does a long clearing pass. Sort of automatically. James Cohen now. No, excuse me, number 24, Sean Walton. Now 17 to 8. Let's have a game up with uh, now Western New England. Western New England now opening up 9 to 1. After that, giving up that last goal, Sabri Rajuna is going to take a timeout. They're down by nine goals here with just about a minute and seven minutes left in the third quarter. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Western New England's come out with a lot of power from that opening whistle over there. That ball is lost by Jesse DeLuca. Run over by Sabri Regina. Great job by James B to keep that ball alive for the Seahawks. Here we go. So he dishes to Lacero. Lacero back behind the net for Holland. Back into the game, and we'll get that number 10 on the ice. 
Jesus must have meant by that statement that he was going to die for us. That shot is taken by him and he must have meant it in that way because he then goes on to say that Jeremiah is written by the hand of Aaron, which is over the gate of Justin the king, the king of the guilds of Israel. Which you know, I look around the right side here in the palm of my hand, pastors, and I see a wide open white diamond that I failed to pick it up and yet it's that way. by Stephen Walker. Thanks to Ivy Redeemer, created the ball out of their zone, scooped up by Nicosero. Nicosero passes to Holochade on the break. Here's Holochade, and his shot is deflected by Joe Garcia. Leosos, unassisted, takes it in towards the net. Great score from Leosos. Extends Western New England's lead to nineteen to three. About eighteen to five by the end of the second period. Western New England coming out of their glory still on top. Off taken by the Seahawks in the under three minutes of play in the second half. Excuse me, that's actually into the third. He's Wade Wadestad on the face off side for Western New England. And after the face off, Wadestad's returning to the sub for Western New England. Again, he's picked up by Wasabi Redeem with a 15 to 10 lead over the Eagles at the 30 day set. Shade with the ball for the Seahawks. They are attacked on the near side. Shades up top to Dennis Parks. Parks down the field to Ian Hunt charging. Loses it. Great defense by Jason Dobbin on that retreat. Holochade, however, stops the ball, picks it up, fires towards the middle. That ball is picked up just by Wade Wadestad. Hustling to get it away. Here's Western New England with Houghton as a man advantage. Wasabi Redeemer's defense really getting caught in the game here. Shot taken by Mike Donahue. Great save by the blocker. By the way, Brian Farina is in there. Excuse me. New sets in on Eric Barson. Western New England with an extremely weak bench unit. There are a lot of substitutions coming into the game here in the second half. Every mouth that I say to Ryan Wilson is going to be a substitution. In fact, the question is going to be who is going to step up and play. Well, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we can do this. Do this right here. Pass through towards the middle. Finds an untouched Mike Donahue. That goal by Donahue, and Western New England is going to stand 10 to 3 with six and a half to go in this quarter. Redeem to Wade Wadestad as he wins the faceoff zone. One by Savvy Redeemer, but Dion Screens comes up. Defense by Jack Wade. Well played. Well 
like a Shark Jones has, a Shark Jones with it. He feeds it back up top. And Campbell's there. Campbell's there, has it with the top now, runs it out to the right side of the net. He's there with the pass to Eilinger. Eilinger actually looks to Zach Kingman, but doesn't get any quickly on the breakdown. The other side of the field, James Kolsar. to Dillon. Dillon feeds up top to Kingman. Kozar already gets it. Rather, Cameron Kozar, excuse me. Kozar over to Dubois. Over to Dillon. Takes him on the back side of the net. Seahawks ball now. Eric Backus taking it up. Posado, excuse me. Steven Russell. Russell makes a move towards the middle. Looking for Alex Kane. Alex Kane is near that blue line. Now he wants to get to the right side. Save me. Possession now gets to New England behind Sadler's unit net. Number 22 is Harold DeBose. Up by Western New England, pass behind the net. Over to Keegan Dillon. Dillon fires and scores on that is Brian Farina. That goal was scored by number 20, number 14, excuse me, Keegan Dillon. Western New England now up 21 to 8 over Sadler's unit with 2 minutes and 49 seconds to go here in the final quarter of this CCC matchup. Face-off circle. It's actually Jake Gonzalez for the first time this afternoon in Major Masons uniform. Zach Farina. Western New England. Loose ball here.
Jeffrey Sauber is in. Oh, the bend in the grass. The grass tries to make a move. Gets it to Jeffrey Greiner. Greiner fires. Easy save made by the substitute goalie for Kent Gorman. Across the blue line. Preston Wiener now on the break towards the middle of the blue line. Maxwell Bertoletti. Bertoletti over to Bill DeBruce. DeBruce behind the net. Goes looking for someone. Gets it to Meyer. Up top. Meyer to Eric Barcelou. Good ball. Eric Barcelou for Weston Arena. Guarded by Wiener. Into the crowd. So, ball's fed toward the middle of the field. Pagliano with it. Lost by Alex Kinn and scooped up by Weston Arena. Got that ball in the middle of the field for Brian Hargrove, and that will do it. The clock runs out. A convincing win here by the Weston New England Golden Bears as they dominate Salve Regina in every phase of this game by the final score of 21 to 8. Alongside myself, Garfield Douglas, what an amazing win. And that particular stream that you see here, Albany on Bears. And that will do it from Gaudet Field in Middletown, Rhode Island. One more time, the final. Salve Regina dropping to 2-3 and three in conference play, 9-3 and three overall. Western New England, 4-0 oh in the conference and 5-6 and six overall. That'll do it, guys. Have a good one.